If you closely follow European politics, you've probably heard quite a bit in recent months about Poland and Germany not getting on well together. This was especially talked about in the news after US President Donald Trump visited Europe. He had a warm, rapturous welcome in Poland and a much more frosty relationship with Germany. There are significant differences between these two countries, but behind those headlines, these two are moving much closer together in some very important ways. Between July 9th and July 11th, significant leaders from the Polish and the German army met together to discuss deepening military cooperation. It was an important step in a plan that really got underway back in 2014, where the two sides agreed to swap battalions. This is a several hundred strong military unit typically, and so that's a significant level of cooperation. Now, it's not quite as large as, say, the Dutch-German cooperation, where the majority of the Dutch army now currently serves under German command, but it's still a pretty big deal, and it's still going to go a long way towards bringing these two countries' militaries much closer together and much more used to working together. Now, as I mentioned, it started in 2014. In October 2015, there was an election, and a new party, the Law and Justice Party, came to power. And the Law and Justice Party are traditionally not at all friendly to Germany. And so there was a pause on the cooperation, but unlike some people's expectations, it did not come to a complete end. And in recent months, over the last year or so, it's been starting up again. And as this meeting shows, it is starting to build momentum again, still under the Law and Justice Party uh, government. The units from the German army that's going to serve in the Polish army and the units from the Polish army that are going to serve in the German army, they've started working together, training, getting ready to get, to get integrated into the other nation's armed forces. At this meeting between the Inspector General of the German Army and a Polish Brigadier General, both agreed to have more cooperation in the future, more exchanges, more projects. The two militaries are going to coordinate their training together and hold regular meetings. And this isn't the only instance of cooperation between the two. The Polish Army relies heavily on the German Leopard 2 tank, and over the past couple of years they've signed some significant contracts with German companies to upgrade these. Last year, the two began working together to form a joint submarine operating authority. Poland is setting up its submarines so that they can work with the German Navy's management system. And also, Germany plays a major role in NATO's multinational core Northeast, which is based in Poland and responsible for defending Poland and the Baltic states. And it's commanded by a German military official. So all of this shows that despite some of the deep political differences between Poland and Germany right now, they are still moving forwards in some very important, concrete and practical ways. Germany hasn't, or Poland hasn't invested all of its eggs into the American basket. It's still looking to get German help, especially when it comes to its military. It's also an important signal of where Poland would stand when it comes to, a Euro comes to European military cooperation. Some have been arguing that Poland would be against the European army right now because they distrust Germany. Now, there certainly is distrust there. But again, look at the facts on the ground. Poland does not want to slam the door on German military help. And they're actually moving closer to Germany when it comes to military cooperation. But it's also another important example of Germany drawing in other countries into its military. It already commands, as I mentioned earlier, most of the Dutch army. It's made major, major agreements with the Czech Republic and with Romania, bringing entire brigades from there into the German army. They're talking about creating a multinational panzer division under German command. So this is just yet another example of that now with Poland. And so it's important to continue to watch Germany building up a European army in this fashion.